Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about direct current. Before start to discuss about direct current, first we can see what is alternating current. In our previous video, we discussed more detail about alternating current. If you want to watch the complete video about alternating current, I have mentioned the link in the description. Please watch it. Alternating current. What is alternating current? Alternating current means flow of charge that changes direction periodically. As a result, the voltage level also reverses along with the current. Mainly alternating current will be used to power to houses, office buildings. Majorly alternating current changes its polarity. Now we can understand the alternating current with one animation video. You can see this here to generate AC in a set of water pipes, we connect a mechanical crank to a piston that moves water in the pipes back and forth. You can see water has flow in this direction as well as in this, in this direction as well. You can notice that the pinched section of pipe still provides resistance to the flow of water regardless of the direction of flow. So this is a clear example to understand how alternating current works. Direct current. Direct current means it's continuous flow of electric charge in a single direction. Basically, DC will be used, that means most commonly used in batteries and electronic devices like computer, cell phone and radios. And it's also used in various industries, including telecommunications, automotive and aerospace. Majorly, you can keep in your mind that wherever we are using batteries, there always we have a DC, direct current. So DC provides a constant voltage or current. Now we can see about how what are the ways we can generate a DC. So DC means direct current. It's a type of electric current that flows in one direction and maintains a constant voltage. There are multiple ways to generate a DC current. First we can consider in a way battery. Battery is a common source of DC current. Batteries convert chemical energy into electrical energy and provide a constant voltage output. DC power supply, we can consider in a way of DC power supply, meaning it's an electronic device that converts AC voltage to DC voltage. That's generally called as a rectifier, meaning rectifier convert AC into DC. It typically consists of a transformer, meaning rectifier and voltage regulator. Basically, we will consider or call this one as a DC power supply. Solar panels, solar panels generate DC current when exposed to sunlight. The DC current is then converted to AC using an inverter to or for use in homes and business. And generator. A generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Then thermometric generator. Meaning thermometric generators uh, convert heat energy into electrical energy. They generate a DC current by exploiting the Seebach effect which produces a voltage difference between two dissimilar conductors. And we have fuel cell. Fuel cell is an electrochemical device that converts the chemical energy of a fuel into electrical energy. So these all are the multiple ways we can generate a DC. But based on your application, you can decide which one you want to choose. Now we can see about how to measure the DC current. You can see in this slide, now we have one setup to measure the DC current, but DC current will be measured by multimeter or DC ammeter. You can see here, we have a battery and we have a load. You can consider this one as a bulb and here multimeter is connected. We can go in a way of like, first you can turn off the power supply to the circuit in which you want to measure the DC current. Then set the multimeter or ammeter to the DC current range that is appropriate for the expected current in the circuit. But you make sure that the meter is capable of measuring the expected range of current. Then you can connect the multimeter or ammeter in series with the circuit. You can see that here, this should be connected series with the circuit. This means that you need to break the circuit at some point and connect the positive and negative leads of the meter in series with the circuit. You can see here, the red color will be connected with the load and the black color will be connected with the negative terminal of your battery. And you can turn on the power supply to the circuit. Then you can read the current measurement from the meter dis uh, display. So once all the things are over, you can turn of your power supply to the circuit and disconnect the meter from the circuit so you have to keep one thing in your mind very it's very important it's very important that to make sure that the meter is properly connected in series with the circuit if it is connected in parallel it will not measure the current accurately and could potentially damage the meter as well so also make sure to observe all safety precautions when working with electrical circuits this is more important 
hope you got the idea about dc current thanks for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content in electronics or in electrical or in c programming language please subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day